Send in the next one. Come in. Headshot. What? Headshot. On the desk. You got a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a joke? Sure. It wasn't funny. Do you have a headshot or not? A picture of yourself? Oh, um... Hold on, I need to get my sack. I'll be right back. Uh. See, I, I once... I once followed this guy into a photo booth. Well, I didn't follow him in. I just waited until he was done, but he didn't finish all the way. And so I, uh, I, I took the, the first three are, are of him, but the last one is of me. <laughs> <laughs> Fold it. Fair enough. That was that was a uh, um, a year ago. So uh, I had longer longer hair. hair yes. Yeah. Stand over there, please. Next to the ruler. With, with my sack? No, leave the sack. <laughs> <laughs> Just never, over. I've never done this before. Shush. <clears throat> Straight back. Don't move the chair. No, don't stand on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, please uh, not. Sir, what's your name? <laughs> you don't even know my name? No. Mr. George. You can call me Mr. George. Please do not step that far back. Come back. You're confusing oh. and intimidating. Darling, have you never been to an audition before? I told you I've never, never done this before, and I want to do it. So let me do it. I'm assuming you're from the South. Yeah. I'm assuming you were a product of poor public schooling. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good enough answer for me. I'm assuming that um, you thought this would be an easy way to come in and make a dime, huh? Yeah. That maybe you'd get in here and we would see how morbidly skinny you are and think you look like a, like a fine specimen to be put on Elle magazine or perhaps, uh, I don't know, a special edition of Ebony. Perhaps the lighter skinned version, and then yeah. maybe you would uh, you would walk away with a big fat paycheck and find your way into a liquor store and buy some booze and waste it and do it again. Is that what you were thinking? Well, I actually wanted to win a bet with my, one of my friends. He said I couldn't be a model, but I I think I can. Oh, go on. Well, you see, I broke into a car, and I and I found these five gold bars, <laughs> and so I bet him those gold bars to that I could get a job and I really don't want to lose those gold bars and I also want to be a model because my mom always said that I was ugly and I also want to prove to her that she was wrong that is a strangely bizarre yet awkwardly compelling story <laughs> people say I got spunk <laughs> <laughs> spunk maybe not but conviction willpower yes Maybe you do have that. Maybe you do have what it takes. Stand straight back against the wall so we can get your measurements. Too short, I'm sorry, go away. What? Too short, I'm sorry, go away. You can't just tell me to get out of here. It's my office. Do you know how far it took me to walk here? How Come long? again? <laughs> Please it say took, that one, it was one a more long time. way here. It took me four to five minutes just to find your place. Forty-five minutes far, huh? Yes. <laughs> I don't even... I only have one shoe. Take off the other one. Feet are too small. Please leave. You measure models' feet? We are only concerned with your body, clearly not your intellect. Yes, we, mos we measure models. Can't kids. you just look at my face and decide whether or not you want me? Uh, oh. No one's ever said that to me before. And yes, I do want you. But it depends, <laughs> on, it depends on the context of what you mean. For the job, I'm not so certain. Well, why not for the job? It's not an easy business. It's not an easy job. I was a model once. <laughs> I was. 
And when I was a model, it was hard. Not easy. Hard. So I had to stand in front of thousands of umbrellas and lights and small gay men with weird haircuts <laughs> and cardigans tied over. It was the 80s. Took my picture and made me do things I'd rather they not made me do. I had to pose with live animals, a headless goat. Hey, say, Mr. Uh, Mr. George. Uh, George. Yes. Mr. George. Yes. You got a brother? Yes. Name. Please leave. Name Cletus? Because <laughs> there's only other per one, one other person I know who talks to no one who's there. <laughs> I just thought he was crazy, but maybe it runs in the family. <laughs> we knew him as Clinton once. He was a brilliant photographer at one time. Yeah. He was the best. They said that he was going to be the next live action Banksy. <laughs> and then he turned to booze. How did you know? It's little shot of vodka. <laughs> this oh, is the tiniest shot of vodka I've ever seen. It's in a small old bottle. Came from a, I stole it from an airplane once. <laughs> Held on to it for a moment like this. What kind of airplane were you, were you on? <laughs> <laughs> Miniature. Oh, spirit air, yes. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, what happened to Clinton? Turned to alcohol and drugs. He liked the sound of shopping carts wheeling by. He had a strange allure for the road, for the street, for the alley, for the asphalt. He loved the smell of the outdoors in urban places. He thoroughly enjoyed the backs of dumpsters. We found him once as a child inside a dumpster, jumping up and down, happy as can be. We took him out, took him back into the house. It was a big house. Put him on his king-size bed. He had no use for it. I always spent time in the back kitchen. Well, I'm going on and on. Anyway, <laughs> he left the good life. He said he wanted something more ethereal. He said he wanted to be in touch with what? I'm not sure, but he just said he wanted to be in touch. And then we never heard from him. Rumor says he still lives in the city. Rumor says <laughs> that if you go out on a Sunday night, you can still hear his shopping cart make a squeal as he begs for food. Legend says that he eats anything that you'll give him. That he'll eat used plates out of restaurants, lick them clean, bite them hard, chomp them up, swallow them whole sometimes, depending on the size. If it's too big, he doesn't go for that. He just breaks it in half. He swallows half and half. It's Pretty impressive. That's what legend says anyway. It's like, did your parents not listen to you or something? <laughs> you know, I knew we had something in common. I did. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my parents didn't listen to me either. Yeah. That's why I ran away. So, uh, you want to hire me? No. If I told you I knew where your brother was, would you hire me? Hmm. <laughs> Come on! I can tell you where your brother is. He's not dead. No. No. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. He's been living with me underneath the the. I-72 Bridge. 72? Yep. <laughs> That's far out of town. No, well, 45 minute walk. <laughs> <laughs> I never drive. I don't know distance. <laughs> I never walk either. Typically people pick me up and move me around the office. <laughs> Well, you're an interesting fellow. <laughs> Some have said. I like you, George. Yes? Yeah. I wasn't even listening to your name. What was it? Martha. Hmm. That, that's, actually, that's not my real name. That's what your brother calls me. I don't know why. He just began calling me Martha one day. Jesus. No, it's not my name either. <laughs> uh, my no, name no, 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 no. Martha. It was the name of someone very dear to us, someone who raised us. Someone who we... 
Like your mom? No. <laughs> Though I do believe he suckled her breasts, it was not a mother. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was the maid. Oh. She was wonderful. She used to wrap me up in tinfoil at nights, <laughs> kiss me goodnight, tell me I was her little burrito, <laughs> and that I would always be wrapped with love. <laughs> <laughs> you are very much like your brother. Yes, some had said. <laughs> so, uh, now. What was your name? Well. Yes. I was born with the name Lauren. Lauren? Lauren. Spelled with an O? Yes. Oh! That's the male spelling. I know. <laughs> that's very unique. Mm-hmm. I'm not a woman. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was thinking something completely different. Because when you walked in here, I have to say that I was smitten. I'd fallen in love before, but uh, never like that. And now hearing that you're not a woman reminds me of that strange movie in the 80s with Forrest Whitaker and The Crying Game. That would be the name of it, yes. Well, look. What a dilemma. If you don't want me for a job, but you still want me, I could shower. That would be <laughs> I was wondering what kind of perfume you were. Not perfume at all, is it? Mm. Look, my family made fun of me until I, I ran away at the age of 18. And I just couldn't handle them making fun of me anymore. They'd call me Lauren the Girl. <laughs> Lauren, spell the A-U, not the O. I can't help if I'm just a little more feminine than, than most men. <laughs> I can't help it if I'm emotional too. If I like crossing my legs and wearing dresses. They look really flattering on my hips. Uh, yes. It's part of the emaciation. It's, uh... This is why I think I could be a good model. Androgyny. <laughs> <laughs> I could look like a man or a woman, depending on the, the length of my hair and what I'm wearing, whether or not I can grow hair. No, I think it's a terrible idea. Why? Oh, you're listening to every word I was saying. But you're a hell of a salesman. It's a good pitch. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, I'll put it like this. I'm not completely convinced that you know what gender you are. You have all the makings of the you best kind of woman that I've ever heard of. You want me to prove it? Yes, but not yet. Let's save that to the end. End of what? This exchange? Something like that, yes. If you just want to see me naked, just say so. Oh, I want to see you naked, but I'm a kind of suspense build-up guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually have to have tinfoil around. Um, <laughs> hey, I think you just... <laughs> you just came from a weird family. <laughs> Perhaps, but that weird family got me all this. You know? And uh, that's more than you have. It's more than you've got. It's more than you possess. It is far grosser than what yeah, you possess. Yeah, I get it. Have. I get it. Listen, here's what I have in mind. Hmm? Take me to see my brother and... Uh, Were you just checking out my ass? No. Take me to see my brother. <laughs> okay, yes. Take me to see my brother. And then perhaps we'll negotiate a job and then perhaps we'll see if you're really a woman. Hmm? I could do that, but it might be a little difficult. How so? Sometimes I can't locate your brother. What? What? I thought you said but you lived with them on the I-72 no, no, I do, I do, but sometimes he disappears for days at a time. Oh, so yes. 
He had a fascination with ghosts when he was young. <laughs> he used to hide in the closet among all the hanging white sheets and linens and play around in there and go, ooh. And then one day he waked up and he said, uh, he said to me, one of these days I'm going to disappear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'm, yes. 